Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to show you a demonstration of the CRM system that I use. So if you are a bookkeeper or an accountant, then you definitely need to pay attention to this because it can be really difficult sometimes trying to find which CRM is going to fit for your practice, essentially. Um, there is quite a lot on the market to choose from, but my personal favourite is Taxdome. So I'm going to show you in these videos exactly what Tatstone has to offer and why you might want to consider it as your CRM system. So let's get into it. So I've got a split screen here and this is just a demonstration company, but I'm going to walk you through because I think sometimes to some degree, if I was to show you everything and show you how it's working with clients, etc., then you're going to miss a few steps. And if you want to go ahead and implement Tatstone yourself, then obviously this is going to be beneficial if I start you off from sort of day dot. So. On the right, we've got our um, accounts here. So essentially you've got um, buttons on the left here. So um, quick link buttons that give you insights. Um, inbox is going to give you things that are you know, on your to-do list, emails, chats, etc. It's going to tell you and notify you that if a client has updated um, the chat box or if they've uploaded a document, for example, or if they've signed something then it's all going to be appear there. Um, and that for me is really useful because as soon as things come up here, I open this daily and I can go down and go, okay, archive, 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 dealt with that. And there's also a button, which I'll show you in the later video probably, that says go to. So you don't need to mess about knowing where in the system to jump to, you can just click on it and it takes you to that client's account. So this is where under clients, we've got accounts and then contacts. So your contacts are, the person at that say limited company that you're in contact with, but the account itself could be, for example, the limited company, or it could be the self-assessment sole trader, for example. Reporting, so you've got dashboards, report designer, um, alerts, etc. cetera. Um, down here, we've got a workflow. So if you've um, created tasks, or you've got jobs or job recurrences or pipeline, um, you can see all of that in the calendar and it'll show up all here. So that is really useful. Next, we've got documents. So here you can see all client documents, but, but my favorite part here is this wiki. So this is where you can create pages yourself on how to. And the great thing about this that I've found is if you've created, say, a recurring task that needs to happen, you can add in links into this wiki page. So you can create a page on how to do a certain element of a job, um, such as age debtors, for example and you can then link it to a video. So if a staff member doesn't know how to reconcile um, debtors within zero, for example, then you can add a video into here that they can then see whenever they click onto that job as just a quick reminder. So love this page. Okay, next we've got billing. So as I haven't put any information into here just yet, um, here we can't see that we've got any um, payments linked. So you would want to do that to click here to enable that. Um, recurring invoices, so the great thing about Taxdome is that it actually links to QuickBooks. So you can link this to QuickBooks and then create recurring invoices that then go out to the client and it's updated in QuickBooks. So that for me is a massive time saver. Time entries, so if you've, if you've got somebody who's working on a specific client, you've always got the ability to click on new up here and then go to time entry there and you can start by using um, the person's um, email address and then you click on the job that it relates to and you can track the time essentially. Work in progress, so any billable time um, where you've not yet raised an invoice, you've got that there. Something that a lot of people don't know about in Taxdome is that you've got proposals and engagement letters in here too. So I know a lot of individuals have started to use the likes of Client Engager and they've actually moved away from the likes of Go Proposal in order to have a custom built proposal and engagement letter within their own CRM. So you can do that in Tagsto. And then we can also track payments, but there's two areas in here that I've not gone over, which are my favorite parts. So templates. Now there's templates in here galore. There's templates that you can copy to your own library. There's templates that you can purchase, for example. Um, there's templates for pipelines folders which are well organizers are basically where you're creating um almost like an online um survey um for example that clients fill in so i've got organizers for self-assessment at year end um and it prompts the client to say right okay you've got to fill in the questionnaire and it'll go through and say do you have property income do you have um pensions income are you contributing towards charity donations etc 
um, and then it will say, okay, well, if you've got this, then this. So um, it's quite a smart tool. And an example of that would be if somebody said, okay, well, I've got employment income, it will prompt them to say, okay, we see that you've got employment income. Can you go ahead and upload your P60, for example? Next, we've got folders. So again, these ones are the ones that you can purchase, but there are other ones. You can create your own folders as well. And one thing that I really like about Tatstone that other CRM systems do not have, and it's a real frustration, um, especially where I've done the subcontracting work for somebody. If you go into a CRM system, a lot of the time, because it's easier to build this way in the back end, they will not allow you to customize folders. So for example, you might go into a client's file and they've got a folder for PYE, VAT, accounts, etc., corporation tags, and then you go into that folder and there's nothing there. And it's just an empty folder, um, but you can't change that in some CRM systems. In Taxdome, you can, and you can actually have multiple different folders. You can have those that are shared with the client, those that are private to you and your company, um, those that the client can upload into. They can create um, their own folder if you allow that, etc. So, yeah, it's um, one of my favourite bits because I like to have clean, happy folders. But here, my favourite thing here, so chats. So if you've ever used WhatsApp business in your firm, then you'll be familiar with obviously chat and um, how to communicate with clients. The problem with WhatsApp business is, it's n I know they say it's, it's um, secure and all the rest of it, but if I'm a practice owner and I'm getting information through from WhatsApp business, I'm having to download it to then put it into the client's file. If you've got multiple people in WhatsApp business, they can remove that file and um, they can save it down somewhere else that you maybe don't want them to for GDPR etc and also as I've found for the clients that were using WhatsApp business that we've moved away from if you don't want to download that file in a reasonable amount of time and it's a very short amount of time actually then you then have to ask the client to re-upload that which can be obviously irritating for the client and something you want to avoid but here Tatstone has its own chat function so you can actually download an app on your phone um, as the client and you can just type away into the chat. And it works very similar again to WhatsApp business because from our end, we can see if a client has responded, we get a notification in the inbox and we can see if they've read it and just not responded and it's timestamped too. And the benefit about this is that if you upload a document into the chat, just from our end <laughs> as the bookkeeper or accountant, we can choose where that fold, that document goes, so which folder. And again, it's all neatly organized and it's time stamped, etc. And the client equally can upload documents into there that then go into the client uploaded documents. So it is fantastic from that point of view. You can also have SMS, so text messages. We don't tend to use that because I think the chat's enough and we kind of want to you know, limit the number of communication methods available just so we've got everything in one place. Email, obviously you can have multiple different email templates. This is just in the marketplace, but if we go to pipelines and tags, settings, etc. In fact, we'll go into that in just a second. Um, you can create your own templates. Now, under firm templates, which I'm just going to skip to, here we've got the same sort of thing again, emails, invoices, recurring invoices, signatures, folders. But let's just say that you're brand new to Taxstone, you don't know how to use it. You can actually go to copy from library. So here, there is just a listing, an abundance of templates for you to use. And let's just say that you want, let's just copy this introduction. Click on that copy and you've got this. And if we go into it, here, this explains to the clients who you are, what services you provide, terms of letter of agreement, etc. You can add um, a customized message. And the other thing about Tatstone that not many people know about is it's got short code. So instead of you having to write out every single time, hi, you know, uh, client name, please do this, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, kind regards, da, da, da. You can add short codes so it automatically brings in the client's name. And that might seem like such a really small thing, but there's so many short codes and it'll save you a bunch of time. And also it means that later down the line, if you set up messages correctly in a pipeline, it can auto generate messages across the board to all clients who Let's just say, for example, have self-assessment. So you can say, okay, um, anybody who's ticked to have self-assessment, start the pipeline off, send a message to say, okay, we're starting your self-assessment. The folder, uh, the organizer is ready for you to complete. 
and we will review information when we've received it for example so tons and tons of things that you can do pipelines so i'm just going to click ok to not save that again you can copy these from the library and there's just tons so a pipeline is basically like um a, a series of events so let's see if we can find one here that's a good template and they've obviously got these as well in different languages so let's find one for uk right confirmation statement copy from library so let's click on it so i'm just going to make this a bit bigger here there's five no six sorry i can't count six different steps to this pipeline and in stage one it's going to request information so if you say this client has got confirmation statement this is what's going to happen so it's going to create an organizer here which is um, a folder for the client to enter information etc it's going to send an email and the information is going to be the email is going to contain an information request that's again the wording etc is pre-populated and then it's going to update this client with the tag confirmation statement so again all in one place etc when that's been finished it will auto move that job onto stage two so in stage two this is going to create a task saying um, we need to prepare a completion statement and it's going to send an email to say we're reviewing updates so again you're not having to then send an email out to clients every single time you complete a task to a certain point which again it eliminates the issues where um you know staff members are sending out different emails so you can see exactly where the job's up to and that the client has been notified next stage so it's going to create a task to say okay review um, that draft confirmation statement next stage is the client confirmation so this is going to send a message to the client asking them to review and an email also now i'll just say that all of this is customizable and you can choose to you know remove one of these pipelines or move them about between the two for example but let's just see this one through so after the client has confirmed the happy this one is going to create tasks to say file this confirmation statement and then once that has been done it's then going to send an email to say your confirmation statement has been filed so that's that so that was just a really quick walkthrough of all the different things that um, Tapstone can do but I'm going to show you how to create a client in the next video um, and a little bit more information about how to use this um, and what that sort of looks like so yes I will catch you at the next one and if you want to hear more information about Tapstone then just by all means add a comment in the comment section and I'll put you in touch with them so there you go take care catch you at the next one